Well, four days after a 13 year old is attacked on her morning walk to the bus stop, police continue to search for the person who hurt her. CBS 11's Jennifer Lindgren is live in Western Hills neighborhood of Fort Worth, where this is on the minds of many parents today, understandably. Jen. Yeah, parents and school officials, Russ. Earlier this morning, a Fort Worth ISD transportation patrol officer spent the morning watching this intersection. More than one school bus picks up at this corner. It's not far from where that attack happened last Thursday morning. At the corner of Calmont and Laredo, some students waited on their own to catch the bus. Others were within arm's reach of their moms and dads. It's sad, man, messing with kids, and it's not right. Joe McCabe is one of many parents who walked their child to the door at Western Hills Elementary this morning. I got a little girl, so of course I'm going to be worried. Oh, it scared me. Yeah, very bad. Down the street, a retired police officer working for Fort Worth ISD kept watch at the scene where someone grabbed and beat a 13 year old girl. The bus driver had pulled over, and that's why the guy ran off. That's because if she hadn't pulled over, it probably would have been a lot worse than it was. McCabe would like to see more police presence in this neighborhood before and after school. Neighborhoods just bad. A source tells CBS 11 News investigators are looking over surveillance video, and today police told us they are diligently working this case. But until it is solved, these parents won't change their habits anytime soon. I walk her up here every day and pick her up every day. And we only live right down here. I mean, it's not that far, but there ain't no way I'm not going to come up here and back and forth on her own. There is a community meeting planned for this evening at the offices of Restoration Center to plan out volunteer daily patrols for the remainder of the school year. That meeting starts at 6 p.m. Live in Fort Worth, Jennifer Lindgren, CBS 11 News.